Less than a year ago, Caleb Murphy was absent from all top 100 rankings. But after a great summer on the Adidas circuit, Caleb quickly proved that he's a top 100 talent, and he later committed to the University of South Florida, becoming the program's first four-star commit in the Rivals era. Caleb is clearly deserving of his current ranking, but some may make the argument that he's still severely underrated. I'm not mad at this take to be honest. I had the pleasure of filming the Grayson vs. McEachin game at the Hawks Naismith Classic, and with a game filled with Division I prospects, Caleb Murphy was the best player on the floor that night. So you may be wondering why Caleb doesn't get as much love as other guards in his class. Well, in this breakdown, we'll be taking a look at Caleb's strengths and weaknesses so you can get an idea of how good he actually is. I was very impressed with Caleb's ability to get to the basket, almost at will at times. He's a terrific athlete that's a blur in the open court with the ball in his hands. He's one of those guards that you can't really pressure because he'll just go right around you for a layup or a dunk. Caleb is an elite level ball handler that freezes the defense with explosive hesitation moves and change of pace dribble. He also does a really good job turning the corner and getting by help defenders after the ball screen. At the rim, Caleb is a crafty finisher. Even though he isn't the most physical player, Caleb's body control in the air and the way he's able to finish over the top of the defense is exceptional. Caleb has the potential to be a really good slasher at the next level, especially if he puts on some muscle. There aren't too many defenders in high school basketball that could check Caleb to be honest. He's just too explosive and slick with the ball in his hands to contain one on one. Caleb has a lot of upside on the defensive end, especially as an on-ball defender. With his long arms and athleticism, I don't see him having much trouble guarding both ones and twos at the next level. When he's disciplined, Caleb does an excellent job containing the ball using his lateral quickness to cut off his man attacking off the dribble. He's a great competitor that's not afraid of the moment. Caleb is more than willing of guarding the opposing team's best player, and more importantly, he'll do an excellent job doing it. Caleb has the potential to be a solid facilitator at the next level. He's definitely more of a combo guard at this stage in his basketball career, but standing at around 6'2 or 6'3, he'll most likely have to make the transition to point guard. Thankfully, Caleb has the basketball IQ to make this transition fairly easy. His court vision is amplified when he's pushing the ball on a fast break. Caleb has good accuracy and timing on alley-oop passes, and he's capable of being a drive and kick guy when he's under control. He's still learning when to score and when to facilitate. But once he figures it out, I think Caleb will be a solid point guard prospect in the future. I like that Caleb can create his own shot off the dribble. Even though his jump shot is still a work in progress, it's almost a requirement these days for lead guards to be efficient scorers from 15 feet and beyond. And I think Caleb is on his way to becoming that. Right now, he's more comfortable shooting pull-ups in the mid-range area. His shiftiness usually keeps the defense off balance, and that's where Caleb is able to take advantage of one to two dribble pull-ups. He also has a variety of step backs and crossovers in his bag to get separation off the dribble. I'll get to his consistency as a shooter in a second, but at least Caleb can get his shot off in most situations. Right now, Caleb is definitely a tweener, having played a lot of minutes as a point guard and a two guard in high school. But I don't see Caleb becoming an effective two guard at the next level if he doesn't improve his jump shot. He's already undersized for the shooting guard position anyway, and without a jump shot, it'll be easy for defenses to camp out in the lane and basically bait him to shoot. Is Caleb a horrible shooter? No, I wouldn't say that. When he's in a groove, Caleb has had really good shooting performances. He gets good elevation on his shot and he has a high release point, but like most young guards, consistency will be crucial to his success as a prospect. Caleb will also need to improve his decision making with the ball, especially if he wants to get better as a point guard. He can be very predictable attacking off the dribble. Caleb is right hand dominant and he forces a lot of drives going right that sometimes leads to a bad shot, a charge, or an errant pass that gets picked off. Caleb also occasionally gets caught in bad positions when creating off the dribble, whether it be dribbling into a trap or attacking the lane with no real plan. It's clear he's not a point guard, which is fine in this era of score first lead guards, but Caleb should make an effort to improve his decision making once he gets to the next level. Well, here's my verdict. I could see Caleb becoming a really good college player in the next couple of years. 
He has the skill, the athleticism, and the natural feel for the game that you just can't teach, but I think it's his current weaknesses that's holding him back from being a five-star prospect. Most of the top combo guard prospects are around 6'5", 6'6", and even 6'7", with elite scoring or elite playmaking ability. Caleb at best is 6'3", with good, not great scoring ability, and he's still developing as a playmaker. But at the end of the day, everyone develops differently, so rankings don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Caleb could very well blow up at UCF, while other guards ranked ahead of him may fizzle out once they get to college. Work ethic will ultimately determine Caleb's success long term as a player. Hopefully he continues to stay focused and strive to be great each and every day.